Hey guys and gals, I know it's been a bit since I got a video up. Got a 760 Pump Master here. What I really like about this rifle with it being smooth bore is you can shoot BBs through it without damaging rifling because there's no rifle in it. But what is really awesome is this thing is really accurate. You'll see it a bit when I'm out shooting and I can't get around how accurate this is being a smooth bore. I mean, it's about as accurate as a pellet rifle. It also uses these little stripper clips that fit in. You can see back there the M4177 uses these stripper clips to use uh, pellets for it. But I'm using this strictly as a BB rifle. One little warning I want to let you guys know is this rail here. When you put your scope on there, I tightened it too tight. And that's where your magazine is. It's like an internal magazine. And this right here is how you, you, know, you load your BBs in this little port back here. And then you set it halfway. I can get some to kind of roll into focus. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but there's some BBs that are starting to funnel down in there, but they won't go all the way down because I had the scope, you know, mounts too tight on this and it pushed the plastic together. So if you're going to shoot BBs through this, be careful putting your scope mounts on there too tight. They, they need to make this out of metal up here. That's just a really bad flaw design. What I need to do is put a shim in here, like a piece of plastic that like separates these pieces so the BBs fall down. I've been using a flathead uh, screwdriver and uh, you know, I shake this, let the BBs fall into chamber where you know, you can pop this back, push it forward, and, you know, it'll magnetize those metal BBs, which let you, which lets you push it in to pump it out and shoot it. So that's what I've been doing. Me pull the trigger on that, but what I really like about this is the accuracy. I can't get over how accurate this is. This is the most accurate BB gun I think I've ever shot. I've shot a few of them. As you can see, it's youth size, but I'm I'm kind of a smaller guy, so I can I can get around it. I wish they'd make a bigger version of this that just shoots out of a smooth bore. I mean, the bigger version you really got is like the Legacy 1000, but that's a rifled barrel, and you really don't want to shoot BBs through a rifled barrel. It'll just chew up your rifle unless you got lead BBs. They do sell lead BBs, so that's an option, but I want to get this outside and show you what I can do with this because it's really, really accurate with uh, the open sights. I got them really adjusted real well. Like I said, I just have to get my flathead screwdriver out and push this where I get the BBs to channel in and you know, I have to edit the video a little bit each time I reload because you don't want to see me fiddling with the, the flathead. And like I said, I'm going to get some pieces of plastic shims and try to get those in there where it, you know, keeps falling without having to use a flathead screwdriver. Or I'll probably buy another one down the road because these things are so cheap. It's like $29 or $39. I'm, I've had this for a few years, so I can't really remember what I paid for it. But I want to say it's $29 or $39. Bucks. I know the older ones had like metal receivers and stuff. This is just all plastic. You know, it's it's a cheapy fill in plastic, but you know, you're only paying twenty nine bucks for it. So I swear it's twenty nine dollars. Well, let's get this out and we'll show you, you know, how accurate this thing is, cause <laughs> it's awesome. So here we go guys. Got the tin can that time. As you can see, it's pretty accurate using my homemade head mount cam. Not sure how this is all coming out, but I figured why not try something new, you know? For a BB rifle, this thing's pretty Accurate. I'm really impressed with this little pump master. Let's see if I can uh, hit anything in the pellet traps. If I can hit one of those uh, little golf balls that are hanging. Wow. I'm really far away. I'm like 25 yards away. It's pretty impressive.
What did some pumps? We're gonna see what type of damage this thing does. Some pumps on that uh team. So we could go look. Yeah, it's pretty good dent. It went all the way through. Oh, it went in. <laughs> yeah, it went all the way through. Pretty hard shot. Seven pumps there. It wasn't even, even the ten pumps. What did it look like on the back side? It went out the back side, too. went out too. the back side. That would kill a squirrel. Yeah, that would kill a squirrel. And that's not even the full ten pumps. Yep, it went through and through. It's not too shabby. Right at the little skeleton. Oh, I think you hit it. I think I hit it. <laughs> See if he hurt that any. That's pretty hard plastic. That's really hard plastic. And it's like thick. And you only pump what five? Yeah. Yeah, as I say, you only did five pumps. The other one was seven, so. Yeah, that's really solid yeah, plastic. Yeah, could have just creased it. Could have creased it too, yeah. Did you pump it ten times? Yeah, I pumped it ten times. Yeah, it hit it really hard. I see the hole in the front. It didn't go all yeah, the way it through, but it did have to dimple it. That's not too bad. No. That's really thick metal. Yeah. Especially the back end. The top part's a little thin, but that back part of it's really, really it's thick. thick. Alright, I'm gonna take some shots now. I'm gonna jinx myself since I was all like, watch how I do it. Now I'm not gonna hit anything. You know, I was hitting everything earlier. That's probably one of the demons. Try one of the milk jugs. I think that was low. I'm further back, I need to pump it up a bit higher than what I usually do. Yeah, it wasn't popping up high enough. Yeah, knocked it straight back, too. Yeah, it was hit dead center. Looking at further back. Shoot another one. Okay. Yeah, that was my problem. With this being a smaller rifle, you don't have the dip of those big brake barrels. See if we get the last one standing. Super awesome. Highly recommend this power line. Now power line. <laughs> I think it's a daisy. Pump master. Pump master. 760. Catch you guys <laughs> on the next one.